guys have been dreaming up a trip like this for a long time. The goal? Round up a crew of the saltiest individuals around. Old friends that have been involved with Salty Crew since the beginning. Load up a sport boat with surfboards, fishing rods, and dive gear, and head west. Letting the Pacific Ocean call the shots. Chasing waves and fish across the Southern California Bight and surrounding islands. Finding refuge in the sea. Now let's meet the crew. Brandon Wallers, the unassuming underwater wild man, spearfishing icon and captain in the Merchant Marines. Next up, Dwayne Diego, a rare combination of a loose cannon and a sharpshooter, and is the unofficial face of fishing on the West Coast. John the captain, he's quiet, humble, and harboring more sea stories than you could imagine, if you can pry them out of them. Lucas Dirksy, the pocket knife, a surfer, fisherman, and craftsman. If he's not in the water, he's probably covered in foam dust or fiberglass. Sam Wiseman, spear fisherman, surfer, captain, overall maritime asset. Levi Slauson, the professional grom, ripping surfer, traveling the world competing, and fishing with the crew every chance he gets. And lastly, Jared Lane, the guy who brought it all together, the brains and the inspiration behind this whole Salty Crew operation. With the right guys and the right gear, this crew is headed westward to ride off into the sunset to spend the next few days finding refuge in the sea. Up at the crack, the crew was still climbing out of their bunks but Jared was already in the water looking to catch a few at the misto little wave they spotted. wasn't pumping. But let's be honest, anytime you get to paddle from a boat to go surf, you can count that as an epic session. As the guys motored back to the boat, they could see Dwayne's rod bent over on something that was a little bigger than a calico. The fish came to color right as the guys were next to the boat, and a solid yellowtail came over the rail with guys sitting on their boards in the water below. With a fun surf session already in the books, and a sashimi and ceviche lunch secured, the crew was off to go find some big bluefin. Just as lunch was being wrapped up, a school of tuna was spotted right next to the boat. 15 yards. Yeah. There's like they're 15 yards off the side of the boat. They, did we get a meter mark? A big school, like a wolf pack that, like, that is over there? Like 50 or 100 Right there. Yep, right there. Let's get it Now most of the guys on the boat are pretty well versed in targeting bluefin. But nobody is as experienced as Dwayne, who's literally made a living of it. And this little contraption he's rigging up right here has made business very good. They're coming right at us. Oh yeah, I see those things. I see those things. All right, we're ready. Just, let's get it out like 60 yards and bump it over there.
Levi was first in line. Maybe the rest of the guys were just being nice and wanted to give Levi a shot at his first big bluefin. Or maybe they just wanted to see him keeled over and riling in pain as he fought the massive fish. Tuna in their bellies. The boys had a rough night of sleep with Tuna in their dreams and woke up to sporty weather in the morning with Tuna on their minds. So they rigged up another flyer in hopes of getting another big bluefin on board. enough of staring at that damned kite with the flyer skipping around on the surface as giant tuna swam under the boat and decided he was going to jump in and shoot one. That was quick. Vibes at record level highs and another few hundred pounds of tuna on board, the guys decided to take it easy for the rest of the day, hit the fillet tables, care for their catch, and prepare for a sushi party that night on board. Tastes good, might not look good. Oh, that's nice with the bones, Cal. Okay. Good. After bouncing around in the open ocean, the crew was stoked to tuck in on the lee of one of the islands and explore the shoreline above and below the surface. There it is, right there. I guess I'll have to rob a bank I guess it could be worse It ain't that bad At least I ain't sitting in no Baghdad In the middle of a hot damn desert Sitting in a tank Well, every time the wife talks Baby gets mentioned I'm so broke I can't pay attention Lord, how it tears me up To see her cry
Back on the boat, the guy's grins stretched from ear to ear. As the sun moved westward, they pointed the boat east and back towards the California coast and home. But the trip wasn't over. The plan was to paddy hop the whole way back and see if they couldn't find a few Dorado to round out the table for Yeah, bring it. Watch out behind you, John. <laughs> 